Hello, uh, in this video I am going to show you how I am going to uh, change the or flush the water out of this uh, hot water heater tank. This water heater tank was uh, installed in uh, September 2006. Today is uh, fe February 1st, two, uh, 2020 meaning that uh, it's almost uh, uh, 14 years and I have never uh, drained the water out of this tank. Okay, for tools, it is a very uh, easy job to do. You don't need that many tools. Uh, you will need a uh, garden hose long enough to go uh, outside and um, if you don't have a long one, but if you have a, uh, a drain uh, um, plug the drain in your garage then you can actually use a short uh, version of this and then you will need a uh, screwdriver in addition to that I'm going to use a sock to put at the end uh, of the uh, garden hose to catch any uh, uh, debris and stuff uh, that may have been accumulated uh, under the, uh, the tank well um, here this is the uh, uh the see that drainage every tank has one it has to be at the bottom it cannot be on top the drainage and then you see here you got that this indentation that's where you would uh, put the uh, screw uh, a flat screwdriver to turn it uh, thus releasing the water but before you do that you uh you have to or must uh, put the garden hose there. If not, the water will go down to the bottom of the uh, of this plate, and you do not want to do that. Now you can see I have this uh, chest here, and I don't want to move it out of the way because I still can access this uh, all this thing here. So what do we have to do before we start draining the water in terms of uh, prepping the tank? So now this is the uh, the bottom of the tank, and here that's the uh, that's the gas line. Okay, it says it. Now, if you cannot identify the gas line, then you shouldn't be doing this job. But it's so easy. Just watch a lot to watch internet videos, and then you'll be able to identify the lines, gas line versus water line. So this is the gas line. And you see that's the uh, the shot of a valve. If you want to turn this off to cut the uh, power of the gas supply to the uh, tank, that's fine. But at the end, you will have a, a few more steps to do because you completely turn off the, uh, the gas. And leave it alone. I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to shut it off. What I'm going to do here is uh, you do not want to uh, drain the the tank while the uh, the heat is on the burner. See the burner is down here inside. You don't want to do that while the burner is on. So this allows you to, to several options. This knob here. Let's see if I can focus. This knob here controlled how hot or hot you want the you want the water you want the water you see here go cool. you see now you turn it you see you hear it so now okay so now it's it's not as cold so what I'm going to do I'm going to put it on on pilot see pilot means that the uh, the burner light is still gonna be active it won't be as hot but it will be active and then I come up here here and you it, right now it's on uh, there are three uh, you see off pilot and then on the side it it is uh, see it's on so it's on now so I'm going to put it on on pilot to do that you you turned it so it's on pilot meaning that there's still there's still gas going on going in there but the system it's on so once I'm done draining the water and refill the tank, all I have to do is turn this back to on, take it off pilot, and then 
turn the knob back to the desired uh, heat uh, level that I want the water. Uh, this is a uh, it's a gas it's a gas or uh, uh, heater. Now, if you have electric, then what you do is you go to your uh, breaker box, and then you look for the uh, the ones for the one for the uh, the water heater, and then you turn it off. You see, you it has to be somewhere in your house and look for it. Okay, so now I prep up the uh, this here the burner and I'm going to uh, put the uh, the garden uh, water hose uh, in this all right I got it snug so later when I'm ready I just use the uh, screw uh, flat screwdriver and then turn this off turn it on and the water will will come out and remember this is hot water Again, uh, this is a, a big uh, tank that has a, 40, a capacity of uh, 40 gallons. Um, it was a lot smaller. I think it was a half of its size when we bought this house. But the inspector ha uh, had uh, demanded that the, the builder put a, a bigger, a more efficient uh, water heater tank, meaning that with more, uh, with more capacity. So that's why I have this big one here. And but remember, it has never been drained before. And then the anode rod, the rod that is inside to protect the, the integrity of the interior of the tank has never been replaced also. So that will be in the next video. So now when we, after we done prepping uh, the bottom of the tank, you have the top. Now you see it looks clean up here because I dust it off. On top of the tank, you have two two big uh, two big uh, uh, holes. They not they are pretty much copper. They are copper copper hoses. You see inside with ins they are insulated. One is uh, for heat hot water and one is for cold water. You see hot has has that red. I have ashy. I have ashy hands. Red. That's for hot water and then this cold water meaning this is the city water pressure the city see this is the city the water will go in the tank cold and then the tank will warm it up then here it will exit it will exit to go to the house or wherever you uh, you want it there is no shutter valve for this for the uh, for the uh, for the hot one but the cold one has a shutter valve it is here so what you need to do when you change uh, uh, to do this, you need to turn it off, which I already did. You change it, you you turn it off. So no water is going to, into the tank. The reason is because if you don't turn it off, then you will never empty the the tank because water keep on coming. So you need to do that. And in addition, there's another reason for it also. Once the water is completely out, uh, out of the tank, I will go back and turn it on and off to apply pressure. Uh, pressure. Uh, so the uh, sediments that are been sitting under the tank can uh, stir up and then to get out of the, uh, the tank. Okay, two, two more points. On the side of uh, each uh, uh, tank, there is a uh, pressure release valve. You will see it on the side. And you might wonder what this is for. Again, pressure release valve. For example, if a knucklehead makes a mistake by uh, turning the tank on without water, or he forgets to, uh, to turn the, top, uh, the water, the cold water on, and then the tank is is empty and then he turns the burner back on then you will have heat in there so the purpose of this is to get the to release the heat because if there is no water to heat up then th this tank will explode so that's what that is for also while you're draining the water if you want the water to come out faster you can always uh uh, open this thing here to allow air because you see it's air air will get in there 
and to allow air to uh, to flow in there and to get the uh, to get the water out a lot faster. Secondly, when you after you turn off the uh, the water supply, the heat, the cold water, uh, hot water, and it will there will, there there is air in the system, so you need to flush the air out. So it is what you do is you see because I turned off the water. So what you do, you leave this on. You leave it on because once you're done, you put water back on, you turn the uh, the system back on, then there will be uh, air coming out. And so, and then later on, the water will come back. So that's a better way to uh, to uh, clear the clear the hose, uh, the line. All right, I'll be them. You see, I uh, open the uh, release the I will open the valve, but guess what? No water comes uh, is coming or comes out of uh, uh, the uh, the tank. You know why? Because the, there's uh, so much uh, buildup and it clogs up the uh, the drainage hole out of the uh, the valve. That's what it is. So what I'm going to do now is to turn the valve off and move this move this thing out of the way and then with a uh, printed object and see if i can just go ahead and uh, re uh stick something in there and to uh release the uh, uh to move all the deposits out of the hole that's exactly what's going on right now because this thing has not been done in 14 years so it's all clogged up Look at that. It slowly comes coming out. Slowly coming out, but look how dirty this thing is. Okay, so I removed the uh, the uh, the hose, the garden hose, and I'm going to use this bucket and place it under like this and turn the uh, turn this thing back on and then use a pick and just uh, turn this on there we go a little bit See? and the tank is not empty folks the tank is not empty let me go ahead and uh, turn the uh, the water supply on that goes inside the tank. Maybe that would uh, dislodge some of the uh, stuff underneath. Okay, look over here. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like it. it looks like it's working. Yeah. Okay. I'll Look at the look at the water so far. I'm going to uh, put the uh, the garden hose back on. Right. Um, also, I know there's there's plenty of water in the tank, but uh, it wasn't coming out. Why? Because of the. Uh, of this uh, pressure re release valve. So what I did, I just, uh, and I'm still doing it, you hear? To release the pressure, and I would allow the water inside the tank uh, to uh, to drain, and that will take a while. So there are 40 gallons in there, and we have to get all the water out first. So they have to leave it like this, until all the water is drained out. And then make sure the top is uh, is closed, so no water is coming in. Again, it is uh, it is draining slowly but surely. So after about uh, 30, uh, 30 minutes, with the uh, this thing remain on, I um, turn the uh, the water up uh, on the line. 
okay we press we pressure inside the tank to activate the uh, the sediment so then uh, I'm going to uh, open this valve again the drain valve to let the uh, water out so I'm going to see if there are any more debris but after that no more so once it's completely drained then I'm going to close this for good and then that's it meaning we fill the tank and wait until it's uh, full and to uh, turn the burner on okay you see uh, this is the first one the first bucket so you see how dirty it is so I, I'm going to repeat this process several times meaning that uh, after I completely drain the tank, I turn the water back on to uh, dislodge the uh, sediment and then that's the first bucket. So I will do this several times until it is uh, clean to my satisfaction and then turn it off and then refill the tank for good. Okay, so right now I'm uh, done draining it. So I'm doing the reverse. Okay, I'm see now I shut it close I close it shut it off and then remove this water uh, remove this hose now if for some reason you you need to keep an eye on this if for some reason this still uh, this thing is keep on it, it leaks slowly you can go to Home Depot Lowe's or any, anywhere and buy a cap to put uh, you see a cap to keep it from uh, from uh, dripping okay so I will do this I will turn the this thing back on later once the once the tank is filled with water okay now all I have to do is turn it back on and then you will hear the water He will remain like this. You will hear the sound like this until the tank is filled. It's completely filled up with water. Then after that, I will just go ahead and do the reverse. Put uh, put this on uh, on on. Okay, remove it from pilot. Put it on on. You see the okay. You see on. All right. And then this button here and put it uh, to the uh, desired. Uh, uh, put um, heat level so all at the also I will uh, go ahead and uh, shut this off I mean to clo um, close it up. I can do that now if I want if I want to but that's fine Okay, it's filled up you don't hear anything anymore so what do we do next uh, like I said you, you see the knob here oh, here it says on pilot and then I can uh, turn it to yeah turn it to on on position okay see on okay and then down here I will turn See, it's on it's on pilot also see pilot and so I had to turn it like this oh did you hear that so now the burner just click on now what if I had uh, turn, put this thing to off you would not have heard the burner what you would have to do is you will have to activate it by pushing this 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 thing here to create the spark thus will turn the burner on so again if you want to be confident of what you're doing look at this here easy you remove that and then you'll be able to see the burner let's see if we can uh, see you see that there we go it's on the burner is on heating up this uh, the water uh, underneath so the job is complete so you can put this back with only one one hand. See one hand. 
so the job is complete so if you want your water really hot then you just turn this all around since uh, it's very early we're not going to take shower anytime soon so I just leave it like this but if you need water hot water quickly then you just put it on uh, on this so this is it so this is how you uh, properly drain the uh, dirty water out of the uh, hot water tank now on the next video I don't know when I'll um, I will replace the uh, the anode rod it's what you can also call it the sacrificial rod and it's on top of the of the tank and its job is to uh, is to get all the uh, attract all the uh, sediment or um, so keep the stuff from uh, heating inside of the tank so since this tank is uh, 14 years old and I don't think there's much protection left in the, uh, on the uh, anode rod. So I will replace it next time. Thank you for watching.